what'd you make out of today and what were you kind of trying to demonstrate amongst this bunch? I don't know that I can play every every post, like every I can play guard and the inside too. So no, I try to show like I'm very subtle too and uh, be aggressive on both ends. So yeah, and that was a good practice. You know, with a lot of guys from the college, pretty, pretty good guys that did the combine. So yep, good practice. And I was gonna say the biggest takeaway it seems like from the guys is how competitive, how fun, how juiced maybe it felt. I mean, I mean every basketball I just love it. Like every time they want to win, you're gonna practice. So no, that was good. That was a good practice and. Uh, and you can see the what's his name Powell, the punger, like he he wants always to win. So even if he can cheat, he's gonna cheat for win. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah. What the, I want to go back to what you said about versatility. What are you just to dig into that a little bit? What are some things that you're trying to show about your perimeter game, your post game, uh, everything in between to to show what all you can do no, on both ends? I know that um, the NBA changed a lot. Like mm -hmm. now they play with almost like four guards every time in the court. Mm -hmm. And uh, like every time, like if you can defense like all the four, mm. you're gonna have time to play. So no, I, my my goal is to read defensive one, two, four, mm. and uh, be versatile like like crazy. So mm -hmm. yeah. what's um? It, they have some two high level point guards there. It seems like they were putting you bigger wings on those guys to see how you could do. Uh, what? First of all, how did you do uh, when you got put on whether it was Marquise or Tiger or, or one of those guys? And, and and what kind of value do you think that had to be able to? Show what you can do against a smaller player like that? Uh, no, we know like uh, we're like tall, so we know like they're like really quick at the first step. So, but no, this year I was with Scoot, and Scoot helped me with this like how to mm -hmm. how to maintain like a quick point guard. So, mm -hmm. no, and like, and I know like I have to give one arm because I'm taller than him, so and I could I could like could contest every time. So, no, and uh, no, I mean, Scoot helped me on that this year about this and Adam Johnson too. So, yeah, even Puja too. So, are you guys that? Played together, like texting about like Leonard was just here last yeah, week. I want to say, me. are you talking? Hey, do this or be prepared for this or? Oh yeah. How much are you communicating throughout yeah, this month? Yeah, definitely. Like we're family. Even like with the vets, we have a group chat, so we are still talking. Even though you're not in the team anymore, but we still family. So no, and uh, we still talking. And uh, I like Leonard talking, talking about the house for the Pacers and uh, school too, like everything. Like school didn't work here, but. Yeah, everyone we still talking to uh, each other with Mojave, you know, so it's nice. We're brothers, so yeah. It's nice to have that sounding board, right? Uh -huh. Huh? It's nice to have that kind of sounding board oh, for you guys being in it together. Yeah, definitely, because like, I, you, you had Lena like one week ago, yep. a week ago. So uh, he told me about everything, about how it's a, how it's a workout, how it's everything. So no, it's nice. But, yeah. What just what was the whole experience like doing G you know, doing it with a player like Scoot who's certainly a high level guy and the other pieces you had? I mean just what was it like just being a part of that environment, playing other guys at that level? No, it was, the whole experience? it was really good, it was a good year. We got the chance to have like the NBA staff maybe like mm -hmm. it's like the Ken Seminar that stuff to get the uh, Indiana Pacers. Mm -hmm. So like uh, we got like how many how many NBA vets we got done John Kings or Mika? They're mm -hmm. playing NBA, you got Cool J and uh, after we got the on the coaching staff, we got Amir and Tisco. And uh, Coach Hart, too, playing NBA. And, uh, no, we got the great staff. And they know what they're doing. And uh, they just, like, they just, like, uh, help you to get, like, a, be an NBA player like they did with the other prospects, like Jalen Green, mm -hmm. uh, Kuminga, and Dyson Daniels. And they did great with us. And they did great, they did great with them, too. So, that was a good year. How do you think it made you a better player? How, how are you a better player after that year um, <laughs> than you were before? That... Uh, uh, Coach Hart helped me like because at the beginning of the season, Coach Hart put me uh, at the four. But mm -hmm. I, I forget like obviously when you play at the four, you're like a point forward, like you see mm -hmm. just in the, mm -hmm. like an el low elbow and everything. And no, and um, I was like nervous at the beginning, but mm -hmm. he told me like, yeah, look for example like Boston Celtics they play with uh, the same about the four mm -hmm. and everything, and uh, Charlotte Hornets they play with the four too. Um, and uh, no, and uh, he told me like, yeah, you you four, but you play, you can play. Both if you want like guards and everything, but no, he taught me how to be very subtle this year, like really very subtle because mm -hmm. overseas like you have like a different post, you know, like if you're playing point guard, you can only be defending the point guard, but no, it's good, he learned me about this, so yeah. You give yourself a uh, moment to consider you're two weeks out from the draft now? Uh, Does that seem kind of wild or is it still a long way to go feeling? It's, I have like, this is the longest month I never <laughs> I did with it, so I have like probably like six, seven workouts left, so no, I still like, Tomorrow I go to, or not today, I go to Charlotte Hornets. And um, now I'm, I'm just keeping like, hoping and uh, hoping I get the chance to be in the green room and even get the invitation. So now I'm just like, a little bit nervous for sure because everyone is nervous right now. 
but no, just keep playing and we're gonna see after.